Hello, hello, it's me again, Dimpo. Buongiorno. Um, today, I'm gonna show you how to make a Filipino food, and um, it's vegetables. We call it pinak bed. Um, it's more tasty if you add with the alamang or what we call that small streams. I don't know. So, I just prefer to not put with it. So, let's start. I use a olive oil. I prefer to use the olive oil because it's good for the heart. Then we add some garlic. The ingredients for this are first the garlic, onions, um, spring onion. Um, I also put with the green chili or yeah, I like the smell. There is uh, spring beans, uh, bitter melon, uh, how to say, or ampalaya. We have a talong or eggplant. We have also a, a squash or calabasa. And I never have the okra because when I go in the store it's not good so I never buy for that so now we put the onion at the same time I cook the white rice because it's very tasty when you eat it with the white rice This is my my own version of pinak bed. And when you see it's a little brownish, you can add with the chicken. The chicken um, I marinated and I little bit green grill, so it's be more easy. The chicken will be cooked quickly. Hmm, I can smell. Wow, I feel that I am in the Philippines. But anyway, Philippines, I'm coming. Wait for me. I really love to eat vegetables because it's more healthy and it gives you more vitamins and minerals or whatever it's needed to your body. And even doctor says that it's more healthy if we eat more vegetables rather than um, meat. Yeah, we can eat meat or chicken or fish, just not too much amount. Just it's enough for what our bodies need because meats, fish, chickens, if it is too much, if it is excess, so there is something a, <clears throat> what do you call that? There is something an effect for our body. So we must also think what the food that we are going to eat. So we live healthy and live with strong, immune system now as you could see that our chicken is can have the
So we'll add later the along or the eggplant, the spring beans, or the we call it in in my language. It's uh, how to say this in Visaya. It's um, um, how to call this? I forget. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is um, batong in Tagalog. It called sitaw. Then we have the ampalaya. Actually, this is all green foods. Ampalaya is good also for the uh, if you have a diabetes. It's good to to. You know, it's regulating your blood sugar and the kalabasa also is good for the eyes. So I guess we add a little bit water. We put a little bit black pepper, or if you don't like to add with the black pepper, it's up to you how you taste. But me, I can't live without black pepper. This makes my food, the food is so nice for me. So now we add a little bit, one mug of hot water. So the kalabasa or the squash will be cooked okay and we will wait a little bit boiling <laughs> excuse me it's from the pepper <laughs> and yeah I add also a silver swan sizes this is a sizes in the Philippines which is yeah like that a little bit and then just wait for a while And now we can put now the vegetables. I mix the um, the eggplants, the spring beans, and the ampalaya. And mix it. And let it stay like that until it cook all the vegetables. That's all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and please click the notification, the subscribe and the notification button. So if ever that we have a new videos, um, you can see what it's a Filipino food looks like. Thank you for watching again. This is me, Dimple. Ciao.